All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super Hero, and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Still sort of uh, reeling from how amazing the reveal trailer was last night for Reptile, Havoc, and Ashra, would of course, Serena as a cameo fighter. God, I'm so happy that Reptile is a human. But for those people who like the reptilian, you know, reptilian looking reptile, we got the best of both worlds because I think it takes like the way his actual gameplay looks and sort of sh shape shifting from human to reptile. It looks really cool. Um, my design, I mean, the, the actual rep reptilian design looks pretty much identical to the movie, the Mortal Kombat movie. So some people like that design. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But as long as they give me half human, half reptile, I'm, I'm good to go, baby. I think he looks amazing. Uh, they gave everyone what they wanted, pretty much. Because I get my my human ninja-looking reptile and whoever likes the reptilian form, they get that too. And it's a combination of the gameplay. Um, so we're going to go check out the trailer and break it down a little bit. More so the gameplay aspect because that's what I'm all about. But I also wanted to share with you guys Havoc's story bio. So, rebellious anarchist, a citizen of the realm of Sado, Havoc is sworn to take down its oppressive regime and free his people. There, order is prized above all else. Lawbreaking is met with strict punishment. Its citizens live in strictly re regulated castes. As a member of Sado's lowest caste, Havoc had neither right nor privileges. Damn. I feel bad for him already. Um, he seethed with anger at the injustice. Shout out to injustice. When he is brutally punished for a minor crime, Havoc finally decides to act. He sets out to destroy Sato's regime and replace it with an anarchist utopia. Once he breaks Sato's social order, Havoc will free its citizens together. They will live in blessed anarchy. So he wants to bring chaos to the order realm, but they're not calling it chaos in this game. They're just calling it anarchy. So normally Havoc is from the uh, chaos realm, but in this game, he's actually part of the order realm as one of its lowest um, casts. So the group that he belongs to is like the lowest form of like human or whatever they are. Uh, I wonder if he is actually like human, like before they brutally beat him, which I assume is what gives him his injuries, or maybe he already has these, you know, supernatural powers. Who knows? I guess we'll see when the game comes out um, how that's going to work. Um, but he just decide, decides, all right, man, screw all these people. I'm going to go in and this is going to be my new world and it's going to be filled with anarchy. So that's Havoc's bio. Looking forward to see what he brings to the story mode. I feel like he was definitely a nice um, addition here to this trailer. He got a huge pop for sure when he was revealed. All right, let's put this in big screen here. All right, so man, these are just, so this is like reptiles, K, uh, section of torture. I have no idea, but you got, all this nasty stuff here on the ground. Don't worry, it's just props YouTube, all right? Have you heard of Hollywood? Do you know what props are? These aren't real people. This is just props. Um, this lady right here is, yeah, I, I think we get the picture. Um, everyone want a creepy stages? There you guys have it. Aren't ready to see the real me. Just right so here, I'm like, want... okay, he already looks amazing. Just right here. Um, I wonder who this type of like character is right here. Um, I don't really see anything that's too crazy. Um, this guy has like a centaur or he has like a, a horns right here in the bottom left. Got a bear trap action. You just shape shift in anything you want. I can shift only between this. So I guess this is probably going to be where reptile hides out because he's outcast from his race that I could take because form made me a freak among my people there you go I was he just terrorized. said it. run out oh uh, let's see how beautiful and gorgeous Molina and Katana look look at it 
Look at how gorgeous they are. Is that Lee Mei right here? Before she gets, uh, before she leaves the Umgadi? It might be. I'm not sure though, because she, I mean, she is wearing purple and she was the protector until, you know, the, the tragedy happened where she left. But it really looks like Melina is disliking how much attention Katana wants. And to me, I honestly think that Melina is the one that's going to be the quote unquote good sister this time. And Katana is the one that's going to be the biatch. Because, you know, in every trailer and in multiple different dialogue, it makes it seem like Melina does not trust her own sister. And obviously, Katana's playing up, though. I'm the good sister role, so I want you to, like, leave and, and not tell anyone so uh, they, won't, they won't force you to uh, resign your throne. But maybe this whole time, Katana's the one that wants that throne and is sort of, you know, trying to get in Melina's head. It's going to be interesting, but I don't know, guys. I just have a feeling. So right here, they're actually uh, dragging someone. I don't know who this person is. A lot of people are assuming that it might be Quan Chi. Uh, they go undercover here for some reason. I don't know where reason they're going, but, you know, obviously Johnny, Kung Lao, everyone has... Everyone's undercover. You misread my intentions, princess. Check out this gameplay here. That's Frost's assist, which I used in uh, my capture session when I played Johnny Cage and Frosty. Uh, it's just like a normal summon assist. I don't see anything too crazy with it. Princess. Here's Reptile's gameplay here. We've got a meterless launcher, of course. Stand three into the summon assist because all of Frost's assists are summons. None of them are um, ambush assist, which, you know, it's a little bit unfortunate. But realistically, she is like a combo extending character. Um, one of them is the Frost, like the low freeze. The other one is an orb. And the final one is that. So you don't really need the ambush assist, uh, I guess. Right here, uh, Reptile shows off his dash. It is coming back. Boom, his dash. Low into overhead, I hope. And then this is uh, the big shocker right here. Uh, a lot of us did not think that... A lot of us thought that it was just going to be Ninja Reptile, but then when he shapeshifts back into his reptilian form, boom, got her with the Force Ball. Launcher, get up there. Give me some air combos. That looks awesome. I actually do like the fact that they incorporated his uh, reptilian form instead of just having the ninja, like as far as the gameplay wise, because I think it looks cooler. All right, let's go back to normal speech. Just listen to some lore shit. Ashra, demon of the nether realm. And then we have the Ashra, Ashra demon reveal. Of the nether realm. Demon of the nether realm. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. And then we have her gameplay right here. Let's check this out because she has one of the longest combos I've ever seen in my life. She looks great, by the way. She looks really good. Uh, I'm assuming that if there's a gear system in one way or another, which based on, you know images it seems like there is going to be some sort of gear system i'm sure she's going to have her hat you know the iconic hat that she has all right let's check out her gameplay here she's going to be using the sword which is uh you know the classic sword that she used in the 3d era games boom we got the helicopter spin with cyrax right there is this a ambush or a summon no, it's actually an ambush assist. Wow, that's awesome because ambush assists, in my opinion, are just superior. So this assist, he does the helicopter spin. And as you see, there is still hit stun on Raiden, which means the combo is not over yet. At least that's what it seems like. She continues the combo, and then she goes into a summon assist for... Cyrax. So the net is actually going to be a summon assist. It's not going to be an ambush assist 
By the way, for you guys who might be confused with the hell I'm talking about, summon assists are the ones where your character poses and they can't move while the assist comes in and does something. And ambush assists are assists that you could call at any time. But of course, obviously, you're going to be using the net for combo extensions anyway. So, man, this is just like crazy, crazy combo potential for this character. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Hold up. She has the Banshee. Look at that. Whoa, I didn't even notice that because things were happening so fast in the trailer. She actually has like a Sindel type of Banshee where it, you know, she sends out the, the Banshee and it goes towards the opponent and you teleport to it. That looks so sick. I don't think it's going to, I wonder if it's going to work similar to like what Sindel had in MK11. But that looks awesome. I didn't even know that. That was a surprise for me right now, checking it out, because I had no clue. It looks really cool, though. All right, so what's this part? It's just the introduction to Havoc right here. So some people are, before this happens, she stops a, a green skull right here. So... A lot of people are assuming, or not really assuming, but they're um, they're thinking that there's a potential that it might not be Havoc, because you guys know that this is sort of edited to seem like it's one scene where she's going to go into a fight with Havoc. Some people are thinking that this might actually be Quan Chi, and you fight uh, Quan Chi with Ashra. Who knows? I have no idea, but it's edited in a way to make it seem like she is going to go up against Havoc right here. And then we get our first look at Serena. She is coming back as a cameo fighter. I'm sorry for Serena fans as far as uh, she's going to be a cameo fighter. But, you know, I think we all rather have our characters in the game than not at all. So he regenerates his limbs. Uh, he looks nasty as hell, ladies and gentlemen. He looks nasty as hell, and I wouldn't have it any other way, of course. We all wanted to see how Netherrealm would actually tackle Havoc, and it begins with a neck break. By the way, this stage is, oh my god, it looks creepy, it looks amazing, it looks like a Mortal Kombat stage. This is probably where Havoc lives, the lowest human population or uh, cast in, uh, I forgot what the hell, the Saido, the Saido? But look at this. Right now he's going to break his neck to call in the summon assist. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. And then Serena comes in, turns into her demon form, and shoots a couple of... I guess, I assume these are sighs, right? Yeah, so she shoots her sigh, then it comes back, two of them, and then you could continue your combo. So then right here, what is, he breaks his jaw. Yeah, he breaks his jaw, and I don't know what the hell he sends out. Is that a heart? Is that a heart? I think it is, right? Boom. Yeah, I think that's a heart. <laughs> and I think he headbutts it. Oh, my God, that's so good. And he rips his arm off to continue the air combo. He headbutts the heart. And then right here, he's like his torso is just ripping apart doing the 360 boom we get a better look at serena in her demon form right here at first i was like who the hell is that then i saw serena with her normal form that i know of the most and we get the legendary headbutt right here right is it that oh my god he's going in oh no it's not a headbutt it's uh uh, you're not going to be able to hear anymore because you're deaf now. So this scene right here is interesting because there's a character that's sitting on the floor. Uh, presumably maybe got knocked out, something like that. But we have Kenshi. We have Kung Lao. We have, uh, wait, is that Ashra? Yeah, look, that I, I'm pretty sure that's Ashra with her hat. Yeah, there you go. Well, she's confirmed to have the hat because that's her, I'm pretty sure. And then we have these guys undercover. But who's on the ground? The tattoo 
on his left, or I guess in this, in, on his right arm, are very reminiscent to the tattoos that Quan Chi has in the Mortal Kombat 1 Combat Pack DLC reveal. So that is indeed Quan Chi, who is knocked down, knocked out right there. I don't know if he was knocked out by the fighters or he was knocked out before and the fighters are concerned, not knowing that he's actually the sorcerer Quan Chi. Maybe he's not even a sorcerer in this game. Maybe he's something else. Who knows? But he's definitely going to be in the story mode. And maybe this is the character that uh, at the beginning of the trailer is being like taken away, like helped up or helped to be taken away. But I didn't even notice that it was Quan Chi until people pointed it out. But yeah, that's definitely Quan Chi right there. That tail looks so cool. So that's the new slide now. He's not going to be actually sliding. He's going to lunge himself on the ground. Probably going to be probably going to be a low. Reptile slide has always been low. There you go. Bites your foot. Force ball again. Molino avoids it. And it looks like, yeah, you could pretty much combo from her uh, teleport, which is crazy. There we get a look at Molina's ball roll, uh, an improved version, because the first time we saw it was in the uh, like first gameplay reveal. So this is a better look at Molina's ball roll. Boom. It's, it really, I mean, it looks like it's very punishable, but it pushes you back so far. It's, it's crazy. I want moves to be like, I want them, if, if they do something really unsafe, like a fatal blow, and I block it. I want them to stay like right in front of me so I could punish them. We get another look or a better look at Striker helping out with the fatal blow. Breaking her ribs, you know, doing uh doing cop stuff. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely a great a great call with Reptile because they could do so much more than if he was just a regular Wait a minute, her dagger is glowing. I just noticed that. Is that like some gear piece? So, Asher right here, her sword is actually glowing. I wonder if that's just a power-up that she has. Maybe it's a different sword uh, that has the, the glow, the purple glow. Or maybe it's just one of her power-ups that she has, like a special move. Uh, Serena with the flip kick. Looks like it's a summon assist, but it's probably a wake up. And then this spell right here, I'm wondering what it does. Because if it's only damage over time, then it's, you know, it's like whatever. You it, It's pretty surface level. But if there's like specific things that your character could do, maybe to light it up or something like that with a projectile. Uh, or depending on how long they stay there, it becomes an unblockable or something like that. I'm just throwing ideas out there, by the way. I have no idea. But I have a feeling it's just going to be like, if your opponent's standing on it, damage over time for them. If you're standing on it, you'll probably recover some life. That's what I'm thinking it's going to do. Again there, uh, ripping his arm off. Oh, my God. <laughs> He just throws up in your face. Reptile dash is blocked. Get a throw here. Forward throw. Serena comes in and just messes you up. Doing a little pirouette right there. Yeah, so this is different. I think this is just another gear piece. No, because... All right, then, then it's a fatalizer, which we don't really need to see. But, uh, yeah, I think this is just a special move that, he, that she has. It must be some sort of power-up because if you guys see, there's a, there's an afterglow, um, which looks like is doing something to Havoc right there. There's still purple aura around Havoc. It might just be some sort of power-up that she has. It powers up her sword. Maybe it takes away meter, like the Quan Chi portal in MKX. Maybe it just deals more damage. Maybe it has like a poisoning effect, damage over time effect. I have no idea, but it's definitely different than her normal sword. And I think that about does it because everything else is the fatals, right? Yeah, everything else is the fatals and we don't need to see that. But that's it for my little breakdown of the 
official banished trailer. It's definitely the best one to me. Um, probably by far because they reveal three characters that not only look amazing, but have been highly requested to come back because they were not in MK11. Four if you include uh, Serena. So I'm happy that this trailer was um, structured the way it was. And I'm happy. I'm actually really happy that they have Reptile be a human and a Reptile at the same time and shape-shifting between both. I think it just makes a lot... It gives NetherRealm a lot more creativity with what moves they could do and what moves they want to do and how they could animate him. And, of course, we saw the uh, beautiful Fatal, which I'm not going to show here because I'll probably get age-restricted anyway because I'm doing a breakdown on this. But <laughs> that's it for me. I also hope you guys enjoyed the Havoc intro or in um, story mode details at the beginning of the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.